Candela. Mm, well, in my case, um, it was uh, quite difficult because I had the the character, yeah. but uh, I didn't know uh, how to write. I mean, um, how to write, sorry, what to write. Uh, I mean, I didn't know uh, what situation or, I don't know, um, the background, for example. Um, mm -hmm. So for that reason, it it was difficult, but but I did it. But you did it. Okay. Well, that's the starting point. Yeah. Yes. Maybe um, as I as you was uh, saying before, uh, in a near future, maybe I will change some uh, some aspects uh, of, of the cloud. But well, the idea is more or less um, there. It's it's yeah. ready. <laughs> yes, there's a point in which we have to start. <laughs> yes, then if we change, if we uh, get rid of it, if we throw it away, well, that's another story. Okay, but we have to start, and that's a good starting point in the sense that at least choosing a character and some other elements. But then, with the passing of time, perhaps letting the diagram rest for some time, then you may go to sleep and the muse may inspire you to change drastically the, the story that you had in mind before, so that you then can go and introduce all the necessary changes. Hello, Candela and Yvette. Uh, those were the two new students in the upcoming one. I think in my I, case, I was quite influenced by some things I read this weekend and some movies I watched. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure if those are my own ideas or if I take them from somewhere else. It was like, okay, I do it, but I'm not sure about keeping it. Okay, no problem. Here we have like, um, we have this uh, task which is compulsory. So we have, you have to do it. And at the same time, it is okay to find inspiration in stories, in movies, then you will see if you will uh, when is that you can give the story your personal touch. When is uh, perhaps you may modify a few things to make it more like your own uh, production. Well, it will be your own production, yes, because in a way you will be like adapting things to the ideas that come to your mind. So don't you worry about that. Okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Now my question is, what was perhaps the most difficult part, to choose the main character or to think of the, uh, the possible events or situations or the traits, what was more difficult? Uh, I, I don't know, someone who can, uh, Ezequiel, what about you? Hello, okay, so um, I think that the most difficult task was uh, to think about the main character. I have the main character, but not the the main. I mean, of the character. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sure. But I have the the rest of the cloud and all the the issues and and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it was a, an easy task, but uh, I'm still thinking about the main character, the main. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. So, in a way, you went the other way around. Like you had all the cast and yeah. the, and the, all the, the situations, but you don't know which character will be the main character. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Okay. What about the rest? Uh, I don't know. Romy Cabral, what about you? Hello, yes, I had some problems uh, with the third bubble, for example, uh, mm -hmm. thinking about the actions and the events. Uh, I didn't have problems with the character and with the, and with the feelings, uh, but yes, with the third bubble. You mean the third would be like the, the events? Events. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. that's right. Yes, because uh, perhaps as, as you move from the, the, the core of the, the diagram to the, let's say, um, the other um, 
circles, okay, as you move, uh, let's say, uh, outwards, you see that the, you, you, ha you have to think of many more possibilities. If the main character is just uh, like a big circle in the middle with only one element inside. But as you move outwards, you have to think of many more possibilities. Yeah? The more possibilities you think of, then uh, you will have many more options to uh, choose from. Okay, so, um, and then you may say, well, of course, I cannot include all these uh, situations in one story because I have to comprise uh, the narrative in only one story. Yes, this is not going to be a novel. Yeah, perhaps you, you may choose to continue writing about it, but this is going to be a short story. Yeah. Yes, right. sorry. Um, something that helped me uh, was the possible sources that are on page uh, 39. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. be, um, for example, there is one that says religious, historical and cultural issues. And this um, was like um, a good source uh, yeah. to me. <laughs> Right, different sources, different possibilities, sources of inspiration, and you could enlarge the list with some other options. Okay, uh, these are like just like some ideas that you can take into account. Yes, of course, personal experiences, um, completely uh, unreal situations that you may. Uh, Invent that you may that you may uh, want to that you imagine may happen. Okay, you can write from a let's say more futuristic style of point of view or yeah, that's up to you. Yes, but the first decisions that we have to make are the ones that are in a way uh, presented in the diagram. Yes, uh, choosing a main character, some traits. Yes, you are like. Um, filling the skeleton or uh, providing the skeleton with uh, with flesh, uh, um, the skeleton of the main character, of course, some possible events and some minor characters. Yes, and that would be enough. Like that would be the raw material we need to uh, start writing a story. I warn you, you may later choose to do it again, or you may find that. The ideas that you had at the beginning are not the ones that you feel more um, at ease with uh, when writing, or you may choose to slightly modify the original version. So that that's okay because these are drafts that you. Uh, but the good thing is that we are able to transfer those ideas from our minds onto the paper because when we see them, they become more tangible. Some people say everything is in our mind. Yes, that's right. But if once you put it on paper, you transfer that onto the paper, you it becomes more visible and it's like you can manipulate it okay a lot better. Yes, that's the idea. Okay, now I need some courageous people to start sharing your diagram. Yes. I would like some the, some of you to share your diagrams to show it. Uh, if you have uh, the picture, I mean, you can share the the picture, okay, with the class, and we and you will uh, explain a few uh, things about your the decisions you you took. Yes. So, hello, Francisco. Hello, Tatiana. How are you? Hello. hello. And Candela, I'm not sure I had said hello to you. Candela Smith, because we have more than hello. one. <laughs> okay, who volunteers to do it? And Brenda, hello Brenda, there you are. Haha, <laughs> no volunteers. As uh, well, if there I are have no... mine, I have yeah. mine, but it's kind of messy. 
Ah, well, that's not a problem. Okay, Tatiana, is that you talking? Yes. Okay, Tatiana, can you try uh, see if you I can don't know if I can hear it. Ah, uh, no. Um, hmm? oh. No, I mean, I, I can see the, the diagram, but I cannot read the content. No, it's too messy, sorry. No, it's okay, no problem. Okay. Um, Another possibility, I mean, one possibility that you have is if you can take a picture of it and then share it as, a, as an image, put it in your screen, and then you can share it. If not, Tatiana, for the time being, you can uh, explain, uh, can tell us uh, about the contents of your diagram. Who's the main character, the traits that you have chosen, the potential events, or situations and then some minor characters. Okay, I, I wrote the name of the main character. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, it's uh, Odedia. I don't know how it is in English, but it's a Hebrew name. Odedia. Yeah. Uh, the feelings around it. I I I wrote love, confusion, anger, loneliness, acceptance. And then in the third bubble, uh, the situations of the uh, where, where maybe these emotions will, will arise are um, suffers work workplace discrimination, diagnosed with schizophrenia. I don't know if that's the 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 name of the the, the illness. Then you then I have um voices in her head, her children are not able to understand her children. Uh, what? Well, I, I don't I don't even understand my own handwriting. No problem. And then, then I have this, the um, second characters. Uh, I wrote father, mother, siblings, children, workmates, doctors, husband, neighbors. Okay, that's I don't know if that's okay, but it's the first time I tried to do it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yes. My uh, my advice would be that uh, on a second um, reading of your diagram, that you try to think of uh, some more traits so that you have some more options to uh, to consider. Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, because if you reduce, um, I mean, the options to a few only, then uh, you will see that in general, main characters have or are fully developed in a story. Then you will see we are going to make a clear distinction between main characters and minor characters. Main characters are typically uh, developed in full in a story. Yes, and so you may find that. Uh, in general, main characters have like a mixture of traits. Yes, sometimes uh, some contradictory traits. Yeah, um, but yours, yours is okay. It's a good start. Yeah, I can imagine like a psychological thriller or something like that. I don't know what's going to come out of your story. <laughs> yes, because you say schizophrenia, then you say. Uh, mental disorder, uh, well, many, many interesting issues. Yeah, voices in her head. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yeah, what is your question? It's um, can the uh, the first person a narrator be um, a second character, or well, because I would like to write the story from the eyes of a narrator. Not as not Odeya itself, the, the main character. Okay. Uh, you will see that that's uh, you you have an array of possibilities. If you want to, to tell the story from the perspective of an external narrator, then that narrator will probably be a third person. You will say Odelia or Odelia, I don't know how to uh, about the pronunciation, but imagine that it's Odelia, okay, will do or have done, okay, so that will be the third person. 
but you may choose to change, to shift from one point of view to another in different parts of your story, depending on the purpose. Then that's something that we are going to discuss later. The choice of point of view will determine the, the position and the perspective of the, of the narrator, and it will allow uh, more or less access to the mind of the character. Yeah. And, uh, but it's a bit of, it's a good possibility. Yes. To start the story, to tell the story from a third person narrator. At some point, when you include the voices that this character hears in her head, you may change the, the point of view to make it more interesting. Okay. That, that will have to do with uh, what you want to write and your creativity and the effect that you want to create. That's a good question. Okay, very good. Uh, if, Tatiana, what, I have a question. Why did you choose that name, Odilia? Because of the meaning, because uh, I mean, I, I, I wrote it and it said, um, God gave, uh, gives or gave her strength, something like that. Uh huh. Okay, so there's a lot of meaning hidden in the name. Okay, very good choice. Yeah, okay, because someone may choose to write about, uh, I mean, uh, an ordinary person without giving that person a name. Okay, but when you give this, the person a name, that's a choice that you make, and in this case, you, the, the name Odilia or Odelia, okay, uh, has a lot of meaning, and perhaps the meaning inside the name is connected to the story. We'll see. I guess. Okay. Very good. Uh, somebody else. I don't know. Uh, any other volunteer? Thank you very much, Diana. For those who have just come to the, have, have uh, joined the meeting, uh, after 40 minutes, you will have to go back to the, to the email, click on the link again. I'm sorry to bother you with this so that we can continue. Yes, because today Natalia is not here and I'm not using her account. Okay. Uh, what about you, Hernan? Sorry to... Hernani is sleepy today. <laughs> yes, kind of. Uh, but uh, brave Hernan, because you are showing your, uh, you have turned the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Hernan. Um, well. Yes, I. It's difficult to share my uh, image because I'm using the phone for the meeting, so I can rather explain it. Okay, no problem. Uh, well, in the first bubble, I have the name, which is uh, Dakota Roach. Uh, and I choose the, this name because I was uh, inspired by the, by the BMX writer Dakota Roach, uh, because I always liked his name and, and I chose it uh, for this reason. Mm -hmm. uh, then in the surrounding bubble, I have some feelings like sadness, remorse, uh, guilty, relieved, and happiness. Um, then in the next bubble, I have some events, like for example, hunting, uh, work hard, uh, getting lost, uh, being alone, uh, arguing, starvation, and finally death. Mm. And yes, and in the bubble about characters, I have friend, uh, wife, policeman, dog, the boss, and a shopkeeper. Okay, good. Yes, death is like always present. <laughs> yes. Know. Yeah, that is part of our lives. That's right. Okay, we have nine more minutes. Oh, I hate this, but well, this this comes with Zoom. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Hernan, do you have, um, let's say, a, a faint idea of what your story is going to be about? 
uh, when you chose uh, the different traits and the, and the events and the situations and the minor characters, do you have more or less idea where your story is going? Yes, I, I have a, a, an idea of how the story will be uh, about, uh, yes, uh, um, a Dakota Roach who goes, goes hunting with, I don't know if a friend or maybe his dog, and then he get lost and well, and the end, uh, I don't know if he's gonna die or, a fr or his friend, but someone's gonna die. <laughs> that's the best way to finish a story. You make someone die and that's it. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Um, I thought at, at the beginning that Dakota was uh, um, a girl name, but in your story, would that be a man? Or a boy. Yes, yes, it's a man. Okay, yeah, it's good to be to to change. Yes. Okay, I'm not sure because the name Dakota doesn't say much, so we don't know if, whether that refers to a boy or to a girl. I've seen it many more times associated with girls or with women, but it's okay to change it. Mm -hmm, very good. Uh, and you said that you uh, found the inspiration in this writer. In the Dakota Roach? Uh, a writer, BMX right. writer. Okay, good. Well, will you uh, include some of the traits of the real person in the story, or will that be just a coincidence of the name and the, and the character in your story? Will you uh, reflect some of the characteristics of the real person in your story? Will you include? Yes, it is possible, maybe the age, or uh, maybe I can look for where uh, he born, uh, but about the, um, the job is kind of difficult because he's an athlete and he has to be a hunter, so okay. that would be difficult. Completely different sphere. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, thank you very much. That's right. Uh, Melina? Torres, what about you? Hello, Meli. Hello. Okay, Meli. Tell us about the diagram, please. Yes, I cannot share, but I will explain. Okay. Um, the most difficult part for me was to choose a character. So I saw my cat and I said, well, let's write about Mr. Cat. Oh, poor cat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, well, I uh, the character is Mr. Cat, then the feelings are bored, hungry, tired, loved, lonely, and crazy. Okay. Then the events, um, I wrote uh, loves being outside, um, got lost, finds friends, play with his brothers, um, Mm, find pet food, find home, uh, goes to hunt, and that's all. <laughs> and then I brought as uh, the second characters, um, casting dogs, two dogs brothers. I don't know how brother dogs or the mom and dad, a bird, mice friends, and kind neighbor and human grandparents. Okay, yes. I was going to ask you a question in connection to that, whether you were going to make your main character an animal or with human characteristics, or you are you are going to tell a story of animals only. I don't know, because um, it's characteristics... like for, for uh, animals, but uh, connected with humans, I mm -hmm. don't know. Like his mama, his dad are humans and the grandparents, but he's an animal and his brothers are animals too. Like, okay. What do you think uh, the life of a cat can tell uh, your readers? Uh, how, uh, how can your story be relevant? Uh, what message or what ideas do you think your cat can in a way, uh, tell the audience. 
Um, maybe how the way that uh, his uh, his uh, mom and dad treat him, or how he lives, or maybe like that, like uh, how it is to be a a pet, <laughs> something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel identified with your pet in a way? Um, not so much. Maybe when he sleeps, <laughs> that oh, he okay. loves to sleep. <laughs> he loves to sleep. Okay. But no. okay. Well, I mean, uh, there are many stories, many famous uh, masterpieces in which you have um, the, the main characters or the characters are animals that behave in a certain way like humans. And of course, there are many let's say, um, many meanings in, uh, hidden behind the, the behaviors of some animals, okay? I think I've already told you about uh, Rebellion en la Granja or Animal Farm, which is a very yeah. famous book, but there are others. Uh, uh, for example, have you, perhaps you recall the movie uh, El Planeta de los Simios, okay? That's uh, an, an old uh, movie, but in which animals start acting like humans. Well, you can give your story. That's up to you, of course. You can choose. Yes, I don't know if this will be my story, but I'm yeah. kind of thinking. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps you decide to move the main character to a secondary character and replace yes. by another one. That's a possibility. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, the idea is that you don't censor your uh, your idea. That whatever comes to your mind, you write it down, and then you will have time to shape it and reshape it the way you want. Okay. Yes, yeah. that's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Any other volunteer? Um, someone who feels like sharing. Mm -hmm. Um, I can share. Oh, okay. Candela, yeah. Yes, I'm going to close the window because there are some people working building a house nearby, <laughs> and I can hear the the people working <laughs> uh, with the saw, and uh, there are some machines working there. So now I feel more more comfortable. Ah, uh, yes, Candela. Um, I can share the screen if you want. Okay. Uh, I have only a minute and 42, 40 seconds. <laughs> if that would be enough for you, if not, uh, oh, I don't know, because otherwise the, you will share the screen and all of a sudden it, it, <laughs> we will have to go back to... Um, okay. I just say it bit about your story and then when we go back to when we connect again you share it. yes okay why don't you start telling us a little bit about your your diagram um i thought of the main character as a young girl mm -hmm. and then the second bubble um some of the feelings would be like i mean she would be like generous cheerful um with positive mind trustful but then there it's going to be other feelings like sadness and anger and fear um and then some of the events that i could think of are um kidnapping murder mm -hmm. um she would go to home or would go to a play um, and then some of the second characters are a judge, mother, friends, boyfriends, neighbors, policemen or police women, um, stepfather, mother-in-law. That's more or less something that I could think of. That's a bunch of things.